The Port Authority is rolling along with two more major capital projects that will impact both the state's commuters and visitors. It includes a long-awaited new transit hub that will help people going to and from Newark Airport and a big step toward funding the new Midtown bus terminal. Senior correspondent Brenda Flanagan reports. The current Newark Air train station sits isolated amidst a sea of long-term parking lots. It's a point of access to Newark Penn Station and a couple of NJ Transit lines, but no buses run here, no taxis are waiting to take you away. Nothing here helps the nearby neighborhood. That's a problem the Port Authority's finally promised to solve by building a new $160 million airport transit hub connected by a flying bridge over the tracks to the air train. I'm just so very proud. It may not be the biggest project <laughs> uh, that the port has done. Certainly it's not. But I think in terms of righting a wrong of the past um, uh, and the game-changing benefits that will be to residents who so deserve this, um, I just, you know, this is a really proud day. As you asked the people in Newark and Elizabeth, to them, this is absolutely monumentally game-changing. It's as big as it gets for them to give them access to schools and work and uh, economic opportunity and public transportation. And they're going to save an hour and a half each way. Think the board voted unanimously to approve the new transit hub along Freeling Heisen Avenue, noting it would help airport workers access jobs by cutting current commute times. Bus trips from Newark and Elizabeth that now take 40 minutes could get shortened to seven. That And so this project is really exciting because this opens up educational opportunities, job opportunities, and just making sure that this neighborhood isn't kind of cut off. It's a very low income neighborhood that has very low car ownership. And it will be fantastic to see this community with a new access, with broader connectivity to the rest of the city as well as the rest of the region. The Port Authority predicts the new hub could generate thousands of jobs and $290 million in economic activity. It's expected to open in 2026. Elizabeth's mayor now sits on the board and welcome the news. But the people in Elizabeth and the city that I represent now will be able to access not only the Amtrak and the Northeast Corridor at another location, they'll also be able to access the air train. It's part of the Port Authority's capital program that included the award-winning new Terminal A and a proposed new air train around the airport in Newark. The Port Authority also moved the long-awaited Midtown bus terminal replacement closer to reality by adopting a funding agreement with New York City. The authority would receive so-called pilots payments in lieu of taxes from new office tower developments that would help cover the new terminal's $10 billion price tag. The close of this deal with the support of the, the mayor, the community boards, the elected officials is a critical forward step in funding the $10 billion bus terminal. The old bus terminal will be torn down in 2029, the new one slated for completion in 2032. I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJ Spotlight News.